I'm Kevin McMahon, and that's Sammy Smith, and this is our moderator, Connor King, and this is Dynasty Sports In Your Face. Um, Sammy and I will be debating several topics. Connor will be asking the questions. So let's go ahead and get started. What's the first topic you have for us? We're going to start in baseball. There's been a lot of PEDs going on in baseball over the past few years. What do you guys view on PEDs in baseball? I'll start. I'll go. Um, I think that PEDs in baseball is it's cheating, and I don't like it at all. And the two guys that have brought it to our attention, and why it's being brought up again, is you know uh, Ryan Braun and um, Alex Rodriguez. And this is a Rod's second offense. Braun got off last time on a technicality when he said they didn't take his, they didn't trans transport his test in 24 hours, or something could have been done to his test, therefore, it was, like, scratched, so, I mean, they're definitely, he's definitely doing them, and definitely, it's A-Rod is too, and that's obvious, so he basically just came out and said, I, I do them, why would you care, then, you know, so he's definitely guilty for them, and I think it's cheating, I don't think you should be allowed, if you need something to make you better, to make you hit more home runs, then you're not, then you shouldn't be a major, a professional athlete, if you need something to help you Propel yourself over the other players that are actually good enough to get there without any other help, then I don't think you should be a professional athlete. I think it shows that you're soft and you don't have enough confidence in yourself. You don't work hard enough in the offseason. Well, let me break this down to you. PEDs have always been around baseball, whether they are legal or illegal at the time, such as in the early 20s, 30s, cocaine use. Babe Ruth was rumored to have used cocaine to reduce fatigue, which was considered a PED at the time. In the 50s, all the way to 80s, 90s, amphetamine use was rapid throughout the league. Amphetamines were actually handed out after games for the same reason. Now, those weren't legal at the time. Those weren't illegal at the time. So they were, they were looked upon as, okay, they were just part of the game. Well, when steroids were introduced, they're just another, it's an evolved form of a PED. So at the time that Bonds and Conseco and, and Mark McGuire and Sosa were taking them, they weren't illegal in the MLB. Well, now, I, I do frown upon Braun and, and, and Rodriguez because they're taking illegal sub, uh, substances. Now, I do think some of the guys like Cabrera are taking substances that are increasing play, but they they're not illegal they, at the time. And they haven't been caught yet. Yeah, they haven't been caught it could yet. Be, it could be illegal. It, it'll be, like, my thing is, anything that you, even if it's not illegal at the time, you shouldn't have to take anything at all. But that's athletes. That's just the competitive edge. You're always looking for something to get one up Go out and throw a car or something. Go get stronger you don't need to take like you know like go oh, like lift i understand something. but every if, if, any athlete would tell you that if they can get a competitive edge on the opponent now whether that be flopping in basketball or whether that be acting in soccer it's peds and baseball and it's always going to be a part of the game like it or not okay let's move on to basketball now from the nba this past sunday dwight howard signed a four-year contract with the houston rockets after playing for the los angeles lakers how do you guys like this deal with Dwight Howard going to Houston? Uh, I think Dwight Howard is the game's best center right now when Andrew Bynum's not healthy. And I, I think that that's not saying much because the game is watered down with big men. I don't think he was worth a max deal. He's but not. I do think he can help the Houston Rockets in ways that, that can make them championship contenders. I mean, point and simple, Dwight Howard is not worth any of this fuss that's being put up for him right now. He's not a franchise player. So the fact that all these franchise he showed that in Orlando that he can't do it by himself. And all these people that are saying, oh, all these teams, we want to build, we need to get Dwight in here. We need to, why? He, we, see, we saw him push away Van Gundy in Orlando, destroy that team for the most part. He destroyed that franchise. And then in LA, he was trying to do the exact same thing. He didn't like D'Antoni. He didn't like Kobe. He wanted Kobe out. And that's why he left. Why would you want a guy that's going to come, put up average numbers for you, not that great, like he did in Los Angeles probably, and then cause a big problem? I don't see what the, what, why you would want to do that. It, it seems like a liability more than an advantage. It's not what he gives you off the court. It's what he gives you on the court. He's, he's but that's up, what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't it, think I mean, there is much of anything. But it, it, for, for big men in the NBA now, Dwight Howard is giving you more than any other big man in the NBA, especially defensively. But he was... He was showing a lack of hustle in Los Angeles. He was showing a lack of will to win. And I, I know you're like, oh, well, if he goes to Houston, then he'll show. But 
I don't like that's the, no competitive edge, and I don't. I mean, yeah, okay, you go to Houston, but then uh, they go on a losing streak for about two weeks, three weeks. I guarantee you, it'll stop hustling. Same exact thing. If that's how you play, then I don't want you on my team personally. I don't want you on my team. I think a guy with talent like that just doesn't go unwa- unwasted in this league. No. All right. So moving on with another basketball question. Who do you guys think will be the 2014 NBA champion? Which team will get the 2014 NBA championship and why? Sammy already knows what my answer is going to be. I am thinking the New York Knicks are going to take home the uh, championship. Wow. Carmelo Anthony will put the team on his back once again. J.R. Smith is back. He got a big deal this offseason. He's going to find that shot that he lost in the postseason, the one that he had right in the middle of the season, nailing buzzer beaters and whatnot. He's going to get that back. Amon Shumpert is going to have a full year of recovery, you know, a, a season like that. Now he has he's going to have a fresh new season and after his season, his recovery season, and I think he's going to come back and put up numbers. We lost Novak, but we still have a lot of pieces there that we can use. And I, I see big things. We still have Tyson Chandler. Amari's coming off the bench still. He's got those 80-year-old knees, but still, he's going to come out and put up good numbers for us. I see the three-peat happening in Miami. LeBron James right now is just on another planet in terms of talent, in terms of physicality, in terms of athleticism. So what's your matchup in the West? My matchup in the West? Like, he, who would the Heat play? Wow, that's a, that's a good question. It's such a toss-up in the West, I don't even think I could pick a Western Conference team. My finals is New York Knicks, Golden State. Golden State. Well, I, I think that I, I think regardless of who Miami plays, Miami is head and shoulders better than anybody in the league. If Dwayne Wade is healthy, and that's a huge if, like his knees aren't bad, those are bone bruises, they happen. But if, when, if, Dwayne, if and when Dwayne Wade is healthy, he's a top five player in the NBA, and you cannot stop this team when Dwayne Wade and LeBron James are healthy at the same time. You, Chris Bosh is even needed at that point. That's true. I mean, I don't think you're going to get past my Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's my issue. I just think that LeBron James, one of the better defensive players in the league, can can lock down Carmelo I Anthony. And see, Dwayne Wade, see, who is but, sneaky, sneaky good at, at on defense, can lock down J.R. Smith. And they, those two cancel out each other. J.R. Smith doesn't play any defense. Neither does Carmelo. Amon Shumpert, he's a big. Tyson Chandler just grabbing boards. And then you got Amari coming off the bench. I think. I mean, I don't see why not. We, we shouldn't go for the – Depending on what the Heat do this offseason, if they, they get Greg Oden, it's a wrap. 3 P. Okay, well, I think that's all the time we, we have. Thanks to Connor King for being our meteor, mediator. Um – I'm Kevin McMahon, that's Sammy Smith, this has been In Your Face, Dynasty Sports.